Hi, Crippin Astronauts. It's Miss Hindmarch. I am so excited to be able to read a story with you today. This book is called Bear Feels Scared. It's written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. And I chose this book because at the end of the story, the bear realizes how important his friends are. Whenever he's feeling scared, he realizes that he needs someone to lean on. And I think that that applies to us as well, um, needing to lean on our friends and our family members and even staff members at our school. We're always there for each other and we can help each other through anything. So here we go. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend Bear, but Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, ho oh, bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it mole calling now? And is that hare's voice? Does bear hear him shout? Wren, owl, and raven all squawk from the sky. It's bear, he's there. And they sigh, big sighs. By a tree waits Bear, 10 feet from his lair, and the bear looks scared. With a flap and flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs, they calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. The end. I hope that you all enjoyed the story for today. I miss you so, so very much, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.